Hey there, in this video I am going to discuss about underscore js and this video is mainly for dot each function of underscore js library. The example which I am showing here it will be using node.js um, but you can use it in other javascript uh, like javascript browsers. So this each function can be used in uh, the arrays as well as on the objects we will see the example of all of them. Let's say I have an array first, so it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, these many elements. And if I want to iterate using the each function, as, you, uh, as the name suggests, the each function take each item of an array or an object. So I can say underscore dot each. I'll pass the array and I'll define a callback. Now remember this callback takes three, three parameters. First is the value, second is the index, and third is the array itself okay and this is the way we will be just using it so this will be the value and this will be index at the value and this will be the complete array just to make sure that everything is working fine i'll just print it um, index i'll print it index and i'll print value as well as well okay now i'll run this i have no pre-installed so um you have to do that if you don't have it so see um i'm running this and i get index zero a value one two three four five here if i just want to print array itself you can see it's printing the complete array i can use console log like this and if i do that Look, every time it prints the complete list along with whatever I am printing right now. And just to make sure if I comment it, you will see this printing the list. Okay. So that's about all about using this each in uh, arrays. Now we'll see how to use this in JavaScript objects. So let me define an object. Uh, let's say name is my name. Um, Age is let's say 27. Um, occupation is let's see engineer. That's all. So basically, we can use the each function in the similar way. Its syntax is similar that it will take the object instead of an array. Let's say object, and it will take the function which is which will again take same three callback, but things will change. First will remain the value, the second will become key, and the third will become the object itself. Okay. So um, that, that the difference between array and here is that value remains value, the index becomes the key. Uh, let's let's print it uh, to make sure that whatever uh, we are saying is correct. So I'll just um, put it in, in console key is let me say if it is key and value is let's print it as well. Now I have commented it so that it doesn't clutter the output. Let's see. So key is name, value is my name, key is age, value 27, key is occupation, value is engineer. And similarly to the earlier one. I can print even print the complete object itself like if I just print the the object it will print everything it will print the object name is 27 occupation engineer along with every iteration so this is the way we actually use it now in javascript objects uh, there can be functions inside the objects for example let's say uh, I'm just having having something or printing something function and takes nothing and it just just prints saying that i am printing something okay now what we can do is that we can invoke the object and call the print something function like this okay Oops, something is not good. Yes, I missed the comma over here. 
Oh, make it clear and run it. See, I am printing something, I am printing something, I am printing something. And it's also printing this key value which include this print function. So this is key, this function is value which you can see it over here. Okay, now let's say um, my object contains an array. Okay, and then what will I, I am changing the object is that um, let's say name list. It's an array which contains name A, name B, and name C. Okay, so I am interested in uh, passing um, this is this is just a list uh, array as we have declared over here, and if I want to use the each function on this list, what I can do is that I can just call this opj dot name list. Okay, and in this this case, the function the key will be actually index. You can keep it name as key. It doesn't make a difference. I'm just changing the name to make it clear. And the, here it will be just the list of of this array. So you can see key will become index and value will be value. This we cannot call now because there is no object. But if we call the list, it will print the this one, the names. Make it clear. What is the problem over here? Yes, sorry. It's part of an object, so it has to be comma. I always miss that. Okay. Sorry again. Should be index. And you can see now it took index zero value name a index one name b and every time it's printing the complete list now when you are doing the uh, this each function with this there may be a case where you want to use the js object okay so for that there is a third parameter in each where you can actually pass the object itself and that is called the context of the each function and once this is passed, you can call the function like print something function over here. Since we are passing now, we can call that. So make it clear. Now you can see it's printing. I'm printing something. I'm printing something. I'm printing something. The good part is that once you have passed the context, you don't need to use the same name. You can use this. This refers to the context. So. Uh, it will give you the same output okay so that's all about a basic usage of each function of underscore library for other functions uh, we'll catch up in next video thank you